Hi folks, I'm Jim. I'm one of the engineers at CX Tech and today I want to go over you, with you the uh, 2960 switch line from Cisco. Here you can see a picture of the front and the back of the switches. Uh, you notice that on the front there are 24 port and 48 port versions and on the back gave you that picture just so you can see what the stacking module looks like and over to the right the white connector there is for an external RPS. That's an option if necessary. So, 2960X is a lot like the rest of the 2960 family. It's layer two. It's managed so you can use SNMP to, to deal with it. One of the things that's good about it is that uh, all the copper ports on it are gigabit, so no more 10100 on them. They're all 10100, 1000, and basically only two flavors, 24 ports and 48 ports. Some of the models have the ability to do power over ethernet, PoE. The two standards that they support are 802.3AF and 802.3AT. Uh, that's good for most anything that you would need these days. Also, when you look at some of the models in the line, some of them give you a choice of having either four 1 gig SFP ports or two 10 gig SFP ports. And those 10 gig SFP ports are backwards compatible to 1 gig. All you got to do is just choose the right SFP for it. Uh, two different software feature sets, too, just like their older brothers. LAN base is the most normal one, and when you look at the part number, it'll start with WS-C2960X and then end with dash L. That's the LAN base. The LAN light is a dumbed down feature set that has less capability. Uh, this is one thing you'll notice is different if you're familiar with the older 2960s. The LAN light part numbers used to end in dash S. Cisco has fixed that, thank you very much. Now they end in a much more logical dash LL for LAN light. Uh, the other thing that is similar to uh, the 2960S, which is the older brother of the 2960X, is that they are stackable. The feature is optional. There's a module that has to plug in the back, and that picture I showed you in the beginning shows where the module goes on the left-hand side of the switch. One of the things that is a big differentiator between the S series and the X series that I'm talking about today is the maximum stack. The older S series can only stack four tall. This newer X series can stack eight tall. Other things you need to know, which are pretty similar from the rest of the 2960 line, is that the softer feature sets are not upgradable. Can't change it. It's locked to the hardware. Another thing that's a bit of a bummer is that uh, the LAN light feature set, if you decide you want to save a couple of bucks to get that, you'll lose the stacking feature. So if you've got to have stacking, then you have to deal with the LAN base. Another thing that's interesting and kind of shows how close the 2960S and X series are is that you can actually mix and match them in a single stack. But if you do, everything's kind of that uh, lo lowest common denominator thing where it will revert back to the older maximum stack of four switches like the S series could do. And I just wanted to show you here, there's a table of all the different models in the X series and you can see their port complement, both copper ports and uplinks, their software feature sets. The column second from the right is the amount of power over ethernet that they can supply, which is kind of interesting. Some people don't understand it, but it's nice to know so you don't get caught. And again, the stacking is optional. And if you're going to mix and match them, you have to use the right stacking module on the right switch. So if you have S series switches, you use the C2960S dash stack part number. And the X series switches, you use the C2960X dash stack part number. Well, I hope you found this useful. If you have more questions, please give us a call. Have a good day.